Daisy Ridley has a new Star Wars movie movie allegedly coming because we've heard of a lot of Star Wars movies that are coming that have never seen the light of day, but they say we're going to get a new Ray movie, not Ray Aura, which I think more people would be interested in, but rather Ray from Star Wars to get a new, and she's saying that she thinks people are going to be excited for it. Now, she was actually just talking about this recently. She said the following about the situation. She said this, I know the storyline for one film. Apparently, it's supposed to be a new series of films. I know the storyline for one film. That's not to say that's all it is, but that's what I was told about. And I imagine it will be the next film, I think. I mean, again, I don't know, post-strikes and everything, how quickly everything will start up again. But yes, so far, I know the story of one film, and I think people will be very excited. All right. So... Uh, actor <laughs> saying go. people are going to love their new movie. Okay. It's in other news, water wet. Yeah, we get it. But it does of course, bring up the whole topic again about the future of star Wars, where it's heading. And what I still consider to be a very odd decision to make another movie around the Ray character. Now for the record, um, I really like Daisy Ridley and I am not somebody who is a hater of the star of the, uh, the, the sequel era of films. I hated one of them, the rise of Skywalker. I hated that movie. Um, I was okay. I mean, I, there were things I loved about the last Jedi, things I hated about the last Jedi, whatever. And I love the first one. I love the force awakens. I did, but here's the thing is somebody who is not just a flat out hater of the, of all three of them. You cannot deny and we've had this discussion before, Rob. You can't deny that the character of Ray has become a very polarizing figure for Star Wars fans. And to be honest, even as somebody who loved one of those movies and was good with one of the other ones, even I am somebody who believes that, hey, if you want to heal the fandom, if you want to, you know, close, rebuild those bridges and heal the fandom and stuff like that, I don't think you come out and go back to those characters again. Because again, I think you're already starting with one foot, you know, in the fire. I, I, I think you're starting off with a whole bunch of people who are already going to be not vocally, but maybe mentally and emotionally against this movie. Why would you make a new movie? When you know you've already lost half the audience, half the audience is already not going to be interested in it because of this. I, I just kind of feel like this is something they should be moving on from. Now, is it possible that Daisy Ridley could be right and that when we see this movie, it's awesome? I mean, that could flip the, the narrative on its ear. I mean, what do we always say? Winning cures everything. Nothing fixes a bad situation like winning. It, it seems to make most of your problems go away. And if maybe this movie comes out and it's utterly fantastic and it's great and it proves everyone wrong and it's wonderful and everybody gets behind it, fantastic. That's what I hope happens. But the more likely scenario, I, I sadly feel, is that there are already a ton of Star Wars fans going, not interested in that. How, how are you moving your franchise forward by coming out with a movie that already half of your fan groups are going to go not interested in that? And, and so, guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, DraftKings. There's so much to be thankful for. Family, friends, food, and NFL football all week long. DraftKings Sportsbook is keeping your Thanksgiving week full of action. New customers can bet just five bucks on the NFL action to score 150 instantly in bonus bets. No matter your appetite, there's something for you. Money lines, parlays, props, live bets, and so much more. You name it, they've got it. And it's a big Thanksgiving week. Detroit Lions are favored over the Green Bay Packers. The Dallas Cowboys are favored over Washington. Who will you pick? So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use the code Campia. New customers can bet five on the NFL Thanksgiving action to score 150 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL with the code Campia. The crown is yours. 
Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler. In New York, call 877 8 Hope NY or text Hope NY 467 369. In West Virginia, visit www.1800Gambler.net. Please play responsibly. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888 789 7777 or visit ccpg.org. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort, Kansas, must be 21 or older in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com sportsbook for details and state specific responsible gambling resources. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms. All I can say, Rob, is kind of much like Superman Legacy. This movie better be, part of my language, this better be fucking great. Like this movie better be awesome because the decision to make this movie and green like this movie to me is still very confusing. Anyway, and I say that as somebody who loved her in one of the movies. What do you think about her statement saying that she believes people are going to be really excited about this movie? I Look. Uh, like with you, I, I certainly am not, and I love Star Wars my whole life. Just because Daisy Ridley's character of Ray, and I think Daisy Daisy Ridley is actually quite a good actress. I think she's very good, and and I I think that she's got a lot to show the world. I I just don't know if it should be in a Star Wars movie. Look, I think they really need to, John. You know, thinking about Ahsoka, thinking about Andor, thinking about all these things that we've been getting. I think what Disney really needs to do is recontextualize what Star Wars is and if you look back at what the the skywalker family all of that's essentially done now what you have left is this eternal struggle in the star wars universe between the dark and light sides of the force embodied in the sith of the jedi and if you think back and you ask fans with ex knowledge of the extended universe people talk about doing a knights of the old republic movie thousand years back or whatever really interesting where you could re-examine the conflict between the Sith and the Jedi in a different way. Just like you could go into the future and do the same thing. That's the key, I think, to keeping Star Wars vibrant as a brand. You've got to jump backwards or forwards and examine this eternal struggle that exists in the Star Wars universe. And adding, bringing back Rey to do something, I mean... Is it a Rocky franchise where you're just going to just there's going to be a family and then adjuncts of the family and maybe cousins of the family and people who once knew the family? Is that what we're going to focus on? Or are we going to figure out a way to tell all these different stories in the Star Wars universe around the core basic tenet, which is this eternal struggle between the dark and the light sides of the force? I don't know, but I don't think Ray's the one that we should be excited for. See, and I think this is a character that we could have done it through yep but through the progression of the star wars sequels culminating in what i thought was a truly and there are people who like the movie and i'm not taking that away from anybody but culminating what i thought was a truly awful the rise of skywalker film really? with with the whole palpatine grandfather idiocy and all this kind of nonsense i just think you 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 disney ultimately put ray the character in the place that she's not the viable character to move things forward that wasn't the fans that wasn't anybody else disney made ray a non-viable character to move the franchise forward i 100%. think so uh, you know what's john what i don't understand is is in the force awakens ray's established but other than finding out her parentage she doesn't really want anything she doesn't really discover anything she's already powerful she already can fly the falcon she already can wield a lightsaber as opposed to the great beautiful thing about the original trilogy is luke has a tragedy and he says to ben kenobi i want to go to alderaan and become a jedi like my father he's want and we watch that journey and what does that entail and it draws the audience in you're like yes luke we're with you i'm gonna go on your journey what journey is ray on sounds like a bunch of haters in here well, I'm not hating. No, she, I, I think, see, and that's the thing. I thought she did have that journey in the first movie, you know, uh, like, but it was a little bit too similar to, to Luke's story, but she dreams of a galaxy far, far away. She's on, the, she's, she's got a little bit of a worse life than Luke had because she's got to scavenge, fight her whole life, all this kind of stuff and something happened, blah, blah, blah. But to me, it's where they went with it after that they, was, because they didn't have a plan. Right. They had no plan and it went off the rails. And anyway, I just... So again, I'm not trying to condemn it. I'm just saying that you brought that character to a place where that character is no longer the viable one to move the franchise forward. Ray, what's, what's the chances of, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Uh, John Boyega, his most recent comments where he flipped around. And oh, said, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's changed he's his tune. This for sure. He, uh, no, for sure. No, but but for those of you who don't know what Ray's referring to, we all know John Boyega was saying, you ain't going to Disney plus me. 
And uh, a lot of comments about how he was done with stores. He's walked back a lot of that recently. So, which makes me think maybe he'll <laughs> pop up in this stuff too. I, I don't know. Boyega, by the way, is an incredible talent. Yeah, yeah. He He's in, nobody's doubting that. Well, they could karate kid it and they could bring Jackie Chan in go. and make Jackie Chan a Jedi. And, yeah. and Ralph Macchio, because you don't have yeah, you can't. The other. Yeah, you got to have him and Ralph Macchio. You don't have the bread without You know the butter, what? You got to bring Jason Bourne. And Palpatine. Oh, yeah. And Palpatine's got to be yeah, there Bourne. again. Ah, all right. Guys, questions for you. Do you think Wick. people are going to get excited for this new Ray movie? I certainly hope they do. I hope they prove everybody wrong. I hope it's awesome. I'm just saying I have my doubts. I have my doubts. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.